Hey guys, it's Lucy Fink, and this week I'm trying five days of being vegan. Vegan donuts are totally a thing. I don't really know what to say, except for that I just don't know what a vegan is. I've been asking you guys what you want to see me try for five days at a time, and an overwhelming majority of you have suggested that I try five days of being vegan. Veganism is a lifestyle that rejects the use of any animal products. Dietary vegans are the ones we hear about most frequently. Those are people who, in addition to not eating animals, also avoid eating any animal products. Eggs, milk, butter, sometimes even honey. Then there are ethical vegans who are on a vegan diet, but who also avoid the exploitation of animals for any purpose, whether it's clothing, science, entertainment, and more. And then the environmental vegans avoid animal products on the basis that the animal farming industry is damaging to the environment. So there is definitely a lot to think about here. And I decided that I'm going out for dinner tonight because even though I could stay home, buy a whole bunch of vegan ingredients, and cook vegan recipes in my apartment all week, part of adopting a new lifestyle is being able to integrate your new habits into your already existing world. Let's see how I do. So this guy took me on a date once to this vegan restaurant. He suggested I get a tempeh lettuce and tomato sandwich and he said it would kind of taste like bacon. It didn't taste like bacon. Day two, so far I've gotten a lot of jokes. A lot of people saying, oh, you're vegan. One thing I definitely noticed was that after yesterday's meals, I didn't have that uncomfortably full feeling that I sometimes get after eating, and that's good. I went out for dinner last night, and I was a little bit disappointed to see that there was only one vegan item on the restaurant's menu. Today, I'm gonna go check out Gotham Greens. It's an urban rooftop greenhouse in New York City where they grow pesticide-free produce indoors, and then they ship the produce to local markets and restaurants. It's incredibly important for vegans, especially first-time vegans, to ensure that they're getting enough nutrition in their diets as they make this switch. So in this high-tech climate-controlled greenhouse, we can ensure that farm-fresh produce grown using a lot of precision and a lot of control can make it onto a supermarket shelf or a restaurant plate the very same day. Wow, so, so this basil and this lettuce medley was harvested just this morning? This morning from this greenhouse. And now it's lunch. I've been a vegetarian since I was seven, so when I went to art school, the natural progression was to obviously become a vegan until two years down the road, everyone else started doing it, so it really wasn't cool anymore. I've been feeling a little bit more alert, energetic, awake. I noticed that I wake up a little bit easier. I don't need to snooze 17 times. Awesome! I spent some time on the phone with a nutritionist. Since I can't get my iron from meat, I needed sunflower seeds, dried raisins, legumes, dark, dark, leafy greens. As for the omega-3, can't get it from salmon, so I've been getting it from flax seeds. Just this morning, I made scrambled tofu. I put some salt, pepper, onion powder, black beans and onions in there. It was delicious. I think that a lot of people are very judgmental about tofu because a lot of people say that it's tasteless. But I kind of feel bad for tofu because that's not tofu's job. Tofu's job is to be a flavoring agent. It's supposed to absorb the flavors around it and that's exactly what it did. I think the tofu did its job. I have friends that are vegan. They love talking about how they're vegan. Oh my God, have you tried this vegan cheese? Have you ever put chia seeds in your milk? Tofurky. I think I must be a walking contradiction. I'm a big supporter of animal rights. I love animals, I have two dogs in my family. The thought of animals being hurt or mistreated literally hurts my heart. Yet, I have fur scarves, leather boots, wool sweaters, and down jackets. I am literally the worst. A positive note from today, I found a website called veganessentials.com and they have literally everything you could ever want and need living this lifestyle. Fragrances, face wash, candles, food, clothing. I spent more time today on veganessentials.com than I spent on all forms of social media combined. There's no good vegan hangover food, so I cheat probably every like Saturday morning when I wake up after a Friday night. It's been an awesome week. I feel good, I feel clean. I don't feel like I've been restricting my diet for five days. In fact, I actually feel like I've expanded my diet. I've tried a whole bunch of new things. I'm not saying that I'm gonna become a vegan now. Honestly, I really enjoy eggs. I like milk, I love cheese. But I certainly will become more conscious of what types of meat I'm eating and where this meat is coming from. Doing research for this episode, I watched a whole bunch of documentaries, and honestly, I feel way more educated. I feel veducated. That's the name of the documentary. 
You should go now and watch the documentaries about veganism and then make your own choice. So what should I try next? Any ideas? Comment below, let me know. Save the animals! Fish are friends, not food. Lucy Fink here. I know you may have watched tons of series on this channel, but have you subscribed yet? Click here, or here, or maybe it's here, or here.